this video about the best diet for humans and uh, Sierra Food for Longevity Part 3. Okay, so uh, food pyramid, which is proposed officially, is uh, based on carbohydrates and uh, uh, grains and plant-based uh, sources of carbohydrates and proteins. Unfortunately, it's not healthy, in my opinion. Protein intakes in the elderly should be limited to 0.8 gram per kilo of body weight, always according to medical professionals. Again, it is not my opinion, it is official medical professionals' opinion. This is due to the fact that when the elderly consume meat uh, containing both plant-based foods and animal proteins, the protein is poorly digested in the stomach. This can result in undigested protein entering the gut and pathological bacteria producing toxins, ammonia gas and lipopolysaccharides. Uh, reducing protein intake may um, can improve health, especially for people transitioning uh, from a standard American diet to vegetarian or fruitarian diets with very low protein content. However, there are many disadvantages of the plant-based diet. For example, the presence of oxalic acid and calcium salts of oxalic acid in fruits and vegetables. This is a big, big disadvantage. Green vegetables contain uh, oxalic acid, which inhibits the absorption of potassium, vitamins and other nutrients. Oxalic acid ions are small enough to enter the bloodstream and react with calcium and magnesium ions throughout the body, resulting in the formation of insoluble calcium oxalate. Green vegetables contain natural anti-nutrients uh, that inhibit protein absorption in the gut, as well as high level of herbicides, pesticides and other synthetic toxins. This is the result of, so, of oxalosis, the accumulation of the crystals of calcium oxalate in joints of, uh, of uh, human bones. A lack of protein in the elderly diet can cause sarcopenia, compromised uh, enzyme production and immune system de degeneration, ultimately leading to a reduction in life expectancy. Elderly people require more than 1.6 1, 1. gram of dry protein per kilo of, of body weight per day. This is official uh, opinion for elderly. In such case, the only way to stay healthy is to adopt a strict carnivore diet and avoid cons consuming plant-based foods as a source of energy and nutrients. However, this can be difficult and may cause health issues during six or up to eight months or longer of the adaptation period. So this is development of sarcopenia when muscles are replaced by fat, by adipose tissue. People may experience nausea, weakness or foggy thinking during the adaptation period. A teaspoon of honey may help alleviate symptoms, but it may also lengthen the adaptation period. In the morning, a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil or MCT oil can help alleviate symptoms. Another opinion uh, of, uh, for improving digestion is to use digestive uh, enzymes and tender, uh, tenderize the meat and marinate in a marinade containing such enzymes. Improving uh, digestion by increasing the acidity of gastric juice is accomplished by increasing sodium, potassium and magnesium chloride salts and as well as taking lemon juice and or citric acid during or immediately after meals. So that we, we need uh, enzymes and if it is carnivore diet, which I recommend, we need proteases. Proteases are the uh, enzymes that break in, uh, proteins to into amino acids. Gastric juice is a digestive fluid that contains uh, hydrochloric acid and digestive uh, enzymes. Highly acidic uh, uh, gastric juice degrades uh, proteins and kills uh, pathogenic bacteria. The acidity of gastric juice in older people is much lower than in younger people. The elderly cannot fully digest red meat and undigested red meat entering the colon can cause bacteria to produce toxins such as 3-methyl uh, amino uh, oxide and uh, uh, lipopolysaccharides. As a result, the elderly must take food supplements that increase uh, the acidity of the gastric juice and improve animal uh, protein digestion. 
in particular betaine uh, 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 H core uh, in amounts of 1.52 gram before meals is recommended. I take it actually more as uh, and uh, also the daily, do the daily dose of 15 to up to 40 milligram oil of uh, zinc element of zinc. You can calculate how much would be so would be salt of zinc and uh, a one to four milligram of copper for improved digestive en enzyme product production. Soft boiled bird eggs are much easier and faster to digest than red meat. It is it takes only 1.5 hours for full full digestion of uh, soft boiled eggs uh, instead of 3.5 uh, hours for red meat. And the inclusion in the diet of the elderly should be increased not only during the adaptation period to the carnivore diet but also later. The best eggs are free range and the quality of duck eggs in Thailand is higher than that of chicken eggs. Duck eggs are slightly more expensive but their superior quality is well worth the extra money. Dairy products such as milk, yogurt and cheese can be consumed in moderation Moderate because uh, some people are allergic to uh, casein. Uh, casein is 80% uh, of the milk protein. In the acidity of the gastric juice, if the acidity of gastric juice is very low, protein supplements such as whey protein powder or an amino acid mix uh, can be used. Here is a picture of uh, how uh, ducks are uh, uh, cultivated in Thailand. It is very normal that they, they are used on, on rice fields after harvesting or, or, uh, in the, or before and they uh, take all the snails and little fish and insects and, uh, and also weeds from the fields. The use of natural uh, digestive enzymes known as proteases uh, proteases to split the, to uh, improve digestion of, of protein can improve the, the digestion of animal based proteins. Bro, uh, bromelain is a type of digestive enzyme found in pineapples. Papayas uh, contain uh, a different protein family known as papain. Bromelain and papain uh, can be found as meat tenderizers and digestive aids. The intestines of ocean fish are another source of, source of uh, proteases. Pickling uh, herring and mackerel uh, with intestines uh, makes fish meat more digestible and the uh, fish bones separate more easily from the flesh. The Vikings and other uh, Swedish uh, Scandinavians loved uh, rotten herring or sur, sur stroming, stroming, sur stroming. This is the a source of uh, natural uh, protease enzymes, uh, pineapple and papaya fruits. To make this dish, uh, uh, the fish heads uh, must be removed and discarded, and while the bodies with guts and stomachs must be kept in a barrel without access to air for at least two months. Bacteria from the intestine uh, multiply in the barrel, con uh, converting collagen from scales and bones into soft porridge. Uh, gour uh, gourmets uh, are not uh, pu put off by the product's strong odor of rotten fish. Traditional Thai fish sauce made of, by fermenting small fish in, in barrels or glass jars is another source of proteases. In Thailand and Laos, the spicy papaya salad or som tam is widely consumed to aid the pr in protein digestion. It is typically served with, uh, with chilies, garlic, fermented fish pasta, and pickled and uh, fermented freshwater crabs, and with green papaya also. This is um, this, uh, uh, pickled uh, herrings, fermented. And this is uh, traditional Lao uh, Song Tam, the papaya salad. The carnivore diet, which is often associated with high protein intake, derives the majority of its calories from animal fat, which can be found in lean meat and eggs, even in lean men and eggs. For example, fat counts for up to 80% of, uh, pardon, 70% of calories in chicken eggs. Surprisingly, people in Hong Kong and Singapore consume the most animal, uh, the most, uh, um, uh, the, the highest amount of uh, amounts of animal products per capita in the world while living longer than people in other countries. 
Also, the carnivore diet excludes most plant foods, uh, natural honey and seasonal fruits are permitted in limited quantities. This is due to the fact that honey con uh, contains beneficial digestive enzymes and hormones and the fructose in honey uh, nourishes the epithelium layer of the intestine and improves animal protein absorption. Also, the carnivore diet is often referred to as, pro oh, pardon me, it's again, uh, the, uh, I just repeat it twice. Inositol is a carbocyclic uh, sugar alcohol that is half as sweet as sucrose and is found in high concentrations in mammalian tissues, including the brain. Inositol is essential for mediating cell signal trans transduction in response to hormones, neuro neurotransmitters and growth factors. It aids in the transport of calcium ions for muscle contraction and uh, there is evidence uh, that it can improve insulin sensitivity, inhibit cancer cell development and improve sleep quality. Myoinzitol uh, also improves lipid metabolism, increases blood vessel wall elasticity and sends the blood to prevent, to prevent blood, blood clot formation. This is inositol. It is relatively expensive, but okay, it is recommended uh, uh, additive, uh, especially for bodybuilding. So this is a honey. Honey uh, with uh, brood is actually so, so, so source of uh, valuable protein and hormones and uh, this also it has pollen uh, and the so-called uh, bee bread which is uh, very very healthy so and uh, consumption of this uh, honeycombs with uh, bee bread with pollen and uh, brood is very healthy I, I keep uh, honey bees in Thailand and uh, if possible uh, then I, I eat such honeycombs it is important to note, however, that modern agriculture uses a large amount of herbicides, insecticides and chemicals to improve the appearance and shelf life of fruits. These substances can be harmful to our health and eating too much fructose from seasonal fruits can lead to, to fat accumulation. Storing fat uh, helped uh, people survive in winter in ancient times, but not now because now fruits are available, sweet fruits are available all the, all the year around. While many doctors believe that eating too much sugar is bad for your health, the real danger comes from consuming plant seed oils uh, or vegetable oils that contain polyunsaturated fatty acids. Also, these oils are officially considered healthy uh, excessive consumption uh, can be harmful to, to the health. It is very, very, very dangerous. Actually, it is short in lifetime. The standard American diet, which is high in carbohydrates and vegetable oils as primary energy sources, causes premature aging and obesity. Consumption of carbohydrates uh, causes accelerated the glycation of collagen fibers and increased blood vessel stiffness. Around 36% of, of the U.S. population is obese and less than 20% only are uh, considered uh, relatively healthy. Obesity is caused by high, high, high carbohydrate and vegetable oil diet. It also increases the risk of developing chronic diseases such as atherosclerosis. It is critical to avoid vegetable oils which are oil derived from plant seeds as uh, one gets older. Switching to a carnivore diet uh, can help to reduce the rate of glycation as animal fat and saturated fatty acids will be primary source of energy for the body. Okay, traditional medical professionals believe that animal fats and red meat uh, contributed to the development of atherosclerosis, whereas the vegetarian diet and vegetable oils, the low so-called bad, bad cholesterol levels and the risk of heart attack. It is important to note, however, that the bad cholesterol should be referred as a low-density lipoproteins, which serve as carriers for fatty acids and fatty acid esters from the intestine to the body uh, tissues via the bloodstream and lymph. As a result, while uh, high uh, L L uh, uh, cholesterol, high level of LDL cholesterol is linked to the increased list, uh, risk of uh, heart disease, the dietary factors that contribute to it are more complex than previously thought. 
uh, medical professionals advise to combine vegetable oils with statin drugs to treat atherosclerosis uh, contradict the beneficial effect of high animal product diet. Okay, this is uh, uh, some uh, presentation how this um, uh, plugs, uh, how the atherosclerotic plug uh, uh, can be formed uh, inside the wall of the large artery. It is again uh, because of oxidized polyunsaturated fatty acids, not of the animal fat. Animal fat is a good source of energy, but polyunsaturated fatty acids can, cannot be split, cannot be used as nutrients because uh, the enzymes in the, our body cannot uh, split them, cannot split them to amino acids. They accumulate as um, uh, uh, lipo, lipofustin. Lipofustin, it is rubbish, which is uh, also known as H-spots. And uh, then it is, uh, and especially accumulation of this uh, lipofustin, oxidized uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids, uh, it is dangerous, a uh, accumulation dangerous for ma macrophages. Okay, this is cholesterol molecule. Again, the small molecule, nothing dangerous. And uh, this is a particle of low density lipoproteins with cholesterol, and uh, which is here low density, here high density. They are different only by size. And uh, the structure uh, here is presented uh, so that it has membrane. Membrane uh, has some uh, free, uh, free cholesterol to stabilize the membrane and also cell cells need cholesterol to stabilize cells membrane and organelle membrane. So it is very, very important to have cholesterol in our body. And uh, then uh, inside we have fatty acids and esters of uh, cholesterol and fatty acids. So uh, cholesterol is very important to transport uh, the uh, fatty acids and fat from intestines to all cells of our body and uh, to use uh, fat as a source of energy. High density lipoproteins uh, or uh, actually the smaller emptied uh, spheres that are, that are processed in liver to produce bile are considered as good cholesterol. Cholesterol uh, but again, it is good cholesterol, yes, I mean, we need uh, cholesterol, good or bad, we, we, we cannot uh, survive without it, because cholesterol aids in the membrane shell st stabilization of both LDL and HDL transport vehicles, as well as uh, our, our membranes of our cells and organelle membranes. Taking uh, statin drugs uh, disrupts uh, production of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this cholesterol, especially low density uh, lipoproteins, and causes problems with fatty acid transport from the intestine, eventually leading to the inability to use fast, uh, fats as a primary source of energy. In addition, our body uh, requires at least one gram of cholesterol per day in order to produce hormones. Taking seven gram of cholesterol with food is not a problem at all. Actually, we need as much cholesterol as possible uh, and with uh, such sources or uh, food sources of cholesterol as bird eggs. Cholesterol is used uh, to, produce uh, to produce hormones, very important, and vitamin D, for example, also. Okay, this in this video I expressed my personal opinion. Visit it on my channel is advised to discuss the content of this video with his or her personal physician and only act on upon the advice of professional medical experts. Uh, my, I follow my personal opinion. I never get in sick. I never ask doctor for any advice because I never get in sick. Last 30 years I never was I never had a, even a flu. And uh, oh, I can sneeze and cough in a little bit, maybe uh, some days, but with, without any fever. And, and if uh, the uh, environment is so toxic with infections, then I'm getting some little bit discomfort, but it is only temporary and uh, never getting sick. Again, uh, if to uh, pro proper diet, proper consumption of, uh, of enough um, meat, enough of protein, of animal origin is very much helpful. Thank you for taking time uh, to watch the video. Please comment, subscribe, like, ask questions and share information. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.